Yeah, I'm rolling right along with these CD collection videos. Hello everyone, this is part six of my complete CD collection. I am Gary of the Elysiums. Please hit that subscribe button so you can get all the updates to every video I post. Uh, you can see more like this. Like I was saying, this is part six. So part six in the books, third video I'm doing today. Uh, by hitting that subscribe button, you'll get an update every time I post a video. So uh, as I said before, I rank everything, well, I store everything in alphabetical order and everything is in chronological order, uh, the way the artists have released the album. So last video, we left off with Metallica, so we're gonna get right back into the M's. Um, I have Methods of Mayhem. Uh, you know, what I'm not proud to own, but whatever. <laughs> All right, now we have uh, Steve Miller Band, The Joker. And we have uh, Book of Dreams. For some reason, I don't have Fly Like an Eagle. And the greatest hits, 1974 to 78, is probably another CD that everyone owns. I uh, just have one album by Ministry, Filth Pig. Uh, not a huge fan of them. Well, I don't want to say I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, I'm not that familiar with them, but I, I picked this up for cheap. And it's a decent album, I like it. It's not, it's not one of their most famous albums, but overall it's good. Misfits Collection here, Walk Among Us, their debut album. Uh, this is uh, Earth AD. This is Legacy of Brutality. Basically, uh, just captures all their singles and 45s. As does this. This is just simply called Misfits. It's a 1986 uh, collection. Um, again, collects the singles of 45s and stuff that was on Walk Among Us and Earth AD. Here we have the follow-up to that. This is Collection 2. This came out in 95. We have Static Age. Uh, this is very similar to Legacy of Brutality. And I'm a big fan of Misfits with uh, Danzig, which is why I have so much. And I have this one, American Psycho. Uh, this is with Mikhail Graves. I don't really have anything else uh, with him. Oh, actually, I have this. This is, doesn't feature Danzig. This is Project 1950. Basically a covers album of, uh, you know, 50 stuff. Uh, Jerry owned me actually does the vocals on this but Cal Grades is not on that okay next up we have Joni Mitchell her masterpiece blue it's an amazing album only thing I own by Joni I got some Molly Hatchet with their debut album flirt with disaster and we have uh, this one's called double trouble a live album and of course their greatest hits Molly Hatchet is one of those bands that have amazing cover arts but then the music doesn't really live up to it. You think it's this uh, great metal band, and it's really not. It's just a southern rock band. But that's not, not knocking them. You just would expect something different. Next up, Eddie Money, No Control. Uh, Feature Shaken, my favorite track by him. Grace Hits there. This is uh, Sound of Money. Montrose, debut album with a, a young Sammy Hagar there. Ronnie Montrose, amazing guitarist. Uh, for some reason, I think I own by Moody Blues. This is the greatest hits called uh, Legend of a Band. Uh, I used to have a lot of stuff with Booty Blues, and for some reason, I really can't find anything remastered now. So I'm holding out until I find the remastered stuff, so I'm not just buying anything. And of course, this, uh, another album everyone owns, Jagged Little Pill from Alanis Morissette. And here we have Van Morrison, his masterpiece, Astro Weeks. Moon Dance, another amazing album by Van Morrison. This is uh, the Bang Masters. Basically, this is stuff he recorded in 66, 67, uh, but by the time he left them and before he had his first, um, uh, excuse me, his uh, first major label deal, which would end up being blowing your mind, which a lot of the stuff is on. Uh, the Vest of Ben Morrison. And here we have Mother Love Bone. Self-titled, it's basically a connect uh, collection of the Apple album and other stuff they released. Uh, this includes a bonus CD with uh, two tracks on there. I think Shine was the name of the other album. All right, so I'm a big Crew fan, so we're going to get into them now. Motley Crew, that is. My favorite by them, Too Fast for Love, their debut album. Shout the Devil. Theater of Pain. Girls, Girls, Girls. Dr. Feelgood. Decade of Decadence, 1981 to 91. Uh, then we have the self-titled album they did with John Karabi. Generation Swine. 
This is the first greatest hits they put out. Um, this has Bitter Pill and Enslaved on it, which for uh, two really decent tracks when they came out. Uh, unreleased new studio tracks. Motley Crue, this is uh, Live Entertainment or Death. This is a uh, two CD uh, live tour that they did on the 2000 tour when Tommy Lee was back, the band was in full. Uh, Motley Crue, Supersonic, and Demonic Relics. Basically a collection of B-sides and stuff that were wasn't released. Has some of the stuff that was released on uh, Decade of Decadence. New Tattoo, album they did uh, with, um, I don't know why I'm drawing a piece of blank right now, but Tommy Lee, not on drums, uh, Randy Castillo on drums. I was going to say, one of the greatest metal drummers of all time, but I couldn't remember it. Uh... And this is the only other, I believe, 20th Century Master I own. Only because it's Motley Crue. It's kind of a cool picture of the guys. Uh, we have this compilation, which is great. Red, White, and Crew. Again, it has a couple new tracks on there. Uh, that's kind of jump-started their whole, uh, you know, 2000 career. Uh, Post-2000 career, which, you know, band was huge tour all over the world. Uh, they did this tour, Carl of Sins Live. This is Volume 1 and Volume 2. This is the Saints of Los Angeles. Great album there. Still got the slip cover. It has the crew fest tour dates in the back. There's the album cover. Uh, best album they did since Dr. Feelgood. And then this is the greatest hits. This is the remastered greatest hits. Uh, they replaced uh, Enslaved and Bitter Pill with a uh, sick love song, I believe, Afraid, If I Die Tomorrow, Saints of Los Angeles, The Animal and Me. Got it, both right. The end. Live in Los Angeles. This is a live CD with a Blu-ray. Uh, obviously, it's their last tour, even though they're uh, set to head back in 2022 now. You know, postponed twice. And, of course, the soundtrack to that awesome movie on Netflix with Eric. Uh, Motorhead. Another band I love, but for some reason, I don't have a lot of stuff by them. Uh, this is their remastered uh, 40th anniversary debut album. Amazing album. My favorite by Motorhead, Overkill. Bomber. This is the, uh, I believe this is the 30th anniversary, or 40th anniversary remaster. 40th anniversary. Uh, same as this, Ace of Spades. I did a review on this, if you want to check it out. Uh, so on my channel, I did that when it came out. Uh, let's say maybe back in October, November, December 2020, something like that. Their live album, No Sleep to Hammersmith. Amazing live album by them guys. Right, and then I'll grab the rest I have here, Motorhead. Another Perfect Day, 1916, Watch or Die, Overnight Sensation. This is a really good album by them. I, I think it's very underrated. And of course, Snake Bite Love rounds it out for me. Like I said, I'm a big Motorhead fan, so I'm sure I'll be getting a lot more of them. Uh, like Orgasm Machan, Rock and Roll. Uh, another band that I had a lot of the deluxe editions, but had to sell them to make the, pay the bills. Hate to do it, but sometimes you have to live. and. Even though music is life, sometimes you gotta pay certain bills instead. Mott the Hoople, All the Young Dudes, Not the Hoople, simply titled Mott, Best of Mountain, Mr. Big, Lean Into It, Great Billy Sheehan on bass, Mud Honey, Super Fuzz Big Muff, uh, plus early singles are on this one. Mud Honey, Every Good Boy Deserves Fudge, and Mud Honey, Piece of Cake. And then one more for M, this is Mud Vane. By the people, for the people. All right, that rounds out the end section. And then obviously we're gonna get right into end after that. So we have Napalm Death, Fear, Emptiness, Despair, great death metal album. Nazareth, Razumanaz, this is a uh, loud, proud of remastered Nazareth uh, edition with a bunch of bonus tracks on it. Forest Hair at the Dog. Vince Neal's first solo album, Exposed. Uh, New Order, Power, Corruption, and Lies. New Order, Low Life. And then I have the New Order, 2 CD, Substance, 1987. Like I was saying in the past video, I went through a phase where I was really into this, uh, you know, dark wave, 80s synth wave stuff. And uh, that's why I have some Depeche Mode and The Cure and New Order. Then we have New Riders of Purple Sage with The Adventures of Panama Red. Here with some more ends. Okay, so then we got New York Dolls, their debut album, classic album by them. Stevie Nicks with Belladonna, Night Ranger, Greatest Hits, 
Nine Inch Nails Pretty Hate Machine. Broken. The Downward Spiral. This is the uh, Perfect Drug version. It's the Perfect Drug was a song recorded for the, uh, I think it was called Lost Highway soundtrack. Uh, so that's basically a single of the song and a bunch of remix versions of it. Fragile. And this is a live album called And All That Could Have Been, Nine Inch Nails Live. Okay, I'm gonna take you back over here for a couple more for Nine Inch Nails and uh, to continue the ends. Okay. So, last ones for Nine Inch Nails, we have With Teeth and uh, Year Zero. Get you a little bit there, there we go. Alright, so for those that don't know, my band The Elysiums, we actually do a whole tribute to Nirvana in addition to our original music. So, since we do so many Nirvana songs, we learned them all. Uh, I have an extended Nirvana collection. And uh, again, a lot of this stuff that I, I replaced with the deluxe version, so you'll see some of that. Okay, first one coming in is their debut album, Bleach. This is the deluxe edition. Uh, it comes with a second disc, which is a full live concert from 1990. And this one's kind of rare. This is the blue single. And of course, we had Nevermind. This is the deluxe edition, two disc set. Uh, this is the original single, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, has Smells Like Teen Spirit twice on there. One's the uh, LP version, one's the edited radio version. This is uh, Nirvana's Nevermind, revisited by Greek bands. So basically it's a bunch of Greek bands just covering the songs from Nevermind. Uh, more singles from the Nevermind. This is Smells Like Teen Spirit Maxi single. This comes with Even In His Youth and Aneurysm. Come As You Are. Lithium. Lithium, uh, this has all the lyrics to Nevermind in it. And back when it was released, it was the only way you can get all the lyrics. Because obviously it was before internet. In Bloom. And this is a really cool EP. This is from Japan. This is Hormoning. It's got Turnaround on it, Aneurysm, D7, Son of a Gun, Even His Youth, and Molly's Lips. All right. So now we're getting to the rest of Nirvana here. We have, this is a great album, Incesticide. This is a split they did with Jesus Lizard. Uh, it just has Oh the Guilt, which my band Elysium does cover. Uh, and we recorded it and put it on our uh, YouTube page if anyone wants to check it out. This is something Kurt did, William S. Barrows. This is called The Priest, they called him. Basically, it's uh, spoken word poetry with Kurt's guitar in the background. And we had the deluxe edition of Inutero, two disc set. The singles from Inutero, Heart Shaped Box. And this is uh, All Apologies with Rape Me. Uh, of course, we have this MTV Unplugged in New York City. From the Money Banks, the Wishka, the uh, live compilation they put together after Kurt passed away. And this is the Aneurysm single, which is my favorite track by Nirvana, uh, this live version, which was released just from uh, the Money Banks, the Wishka album. Uh, this is a bootleg called Fire Extinguisher. It's a live show from Tokyo, Japan, February 19th, 1992. Really cool stuff. And it's got great sound quality. Their greatest hits is simply titled Nirvana. Of course, it has You Know You're Right on there. Uh, Sliver, the best of the box. Do of the box, which I'll be showing in a different video. This is live at Reading. This is soundtrack uh, montage of Heck. The home recording is a soundtrack from the Kirk Rubin movie. And this is another uh, kind of bootleg. I'm not sure where this is from. It's a bunch of, uh, it's a compilation of all covers that they did from radio broadcasts. Uh, there is some stuff from the MTV Unplugged, of course, of uh, Jesus and... Um, where to sleep last night and stuff like that. All right, that rounds out the Nirvana collection. I got two from No Doubt. I got their uh, the other big album, Tragic Kingdom. And I have The Return of Saturn, which actually, I remember winning this, and there's my sticker there, so compliments of Y100. I won this at uh, some show or some event they were doing. I think it's like 2000, yeah, 2000. All right, now we're getting to my uh, to Ted Nugent. We got his debut album, Free For All, Cat Scratch Fever, the uh, amazing live album, Double Live Gonzo. Got some more. This is Weekend Warriors. State of Shock, remastered. Scream Dream. Intensity in 10 Cities. This one's simply just titled Nugent. Remastered edition there. Uh, Spitfire Records. Penetrator, another Spitfire remaster. If you can't lick them, lick them. Terrible. Uh, 
terrible album name, but okay album. Out of Control. This is kind of a box set of, uh, of stuff from Amboy Dukes and some of his greatest hits and other stuff he recorded throughout the years. And this is live at Hammersmith, 1979. That'll finish up the ends before we get into the O's, which opens up with Oasis. Their debut album, Definitely Maybe. Uh, they're a huge seller. What's the story? Morning Glory. Be here now. And then I have this one, Heathen Chemistry. Uh, one of the greatest death metal albums of all time. Obituary with Slowly We Rot. I've seen Obituary in concert a few times and they're just amazing. And, you know, unfortunately that's the only CD I own by them at this time. But that'll change soon. Allspring. This is uh, Ignition. I believe this is their second album. This is their big smash the pun intended, called Smash, Ixnay on the Ombre, Americana, and the Conspiracy of One. Here we have uh, a Roy Orbison CD. This is just the very best of Roy Orbison. Orgy, Candy S, some new metal stuff there. And now we're getting into the Ozzy section. Blizzard of Oz, the greatest guitar player that ever lived. Randy Rhodes, uh, this is the remastered edition, the 2010 remaster, or 2011 remaster, which puts uh, Bob Daisley and Lee Kerslake's tracks back on there after um, Sharon M. Taken Off and Robert DeHilo, and I think Mike Borden covered them in the 90s remasters, but they're back. Then I have Blizzard of Oz, this is a deluxe two CD with a full um, second disc just titled Ozzy Live. It's basically stuff that is on uh, tribute, but it's the same set list. But obviously different versions that were on there. And this is Randy Rhodes' best work, in my opinion. Speak of the Devil. One of the greatest albums of all time. Greatest rhythm sections. Bad, Brad Gillis on guitar. Rudy Sarzo and Tommy Aldrich on bass and drums, respectively. Bark the Moon. Jakey Lee's debut. Great album. Uh, the Ultimate Sin. Another one with Jakey Lee. And, of course, Tribute, which was uh, a full live album. For a tribute to Randy Rhodes. No Rest for the Wicked, first album he did with Zach Wild, uh, Just Say Ozzy, live album featuring Zach Wild on guitar, Geezer Butler on bass, and Randy Castillo on drums. See, I remember the name that time. No More Tears, Live and Loud, Osmosis, the Ozman Cometh. This is a cool compilation. This is a two disc set which uh, features a bonus disc with Fairies Wear Boots, Behind a Wall of Sleep, and a 1988 interview with Ozzy. Down to Earth. The live album from the Down to Earth tour. This is live at Budokan. We have Undercover, which is basically just all covers by Ozzy. Black Rain. Scream. Last one he put out, Ordinary Man. And then now if we have, this is the outfield of Play Deep, uh, features their big song, Your Love. We got, uh, we round out with the O's here. We have the Outlaws. This is a twofer, uh, featuring their debut album and Harry Sundown. I believe this is a, yeah, yeah, it is a two disc set. I thought it was a two on one disc, but two disc set. Then we have their great live album, uh, Bring It All Back Alive. Bring It All Back, Bring It Back Alive. I always get confused. I always get that confused with uh, bringing it back home. Bring it all back home. <laughs> uh, Best of the Outlaws. High Tides and Green Grass. Green Grass and High Tides, I should say. We got Overkill, Taking Over, Under the Influence, and Horoscope. So that's it. Uh, ended with the O's, finished the M's, after the N's, all the O's. And uh, part seven, we'll start with the P's. Uh, again, thanks for watching. This is part six. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Not only do you support my channel, but you also get updates every time I post a video. Everyone take care.